Maybe when the perk's higher, it's a better handling weapon, but... I mean, in its current current state, I just don't like it. Like, I do a lot of hip firing in this thing most of the time. I need to kill these invisible girls ASAP. I need to get like friggin' a million of them though. I need 350. Oh, killed her. Hit fire. I'm hitting him somehow. I don't see how, but I am. Stole my kill, bitch. Chicken, go here. Uh, dude behind you. Still alive? I'm gonna shoot you right in the head, man. Get out of here. There it is. It is more powerful than the bullpup, but the bullpup has more ammo. I can, it recoils way better. Like I can spray that thing. It's like an LMG. I can just hold on to that motherfucker. It's not gonna go anywhere. Oh my god. What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> Aww. I was gonna high five it. Or try to. How was I gonna do that? I don't know yet. Oh, don't care. Alright, you seem to be alone and I don't like that because look. Haha. <laughs> Stole your kill. Alright. Looks like you're gonna stay by the traitor, which is what most people tend to do in maps that are more open, is they'll just go near the traitor and they'll hold up near it. Whereas in Bedlam, it's really constricted, close quarters, you need to get set up in a certain spot and you know have a strategy, otherwise you could just be totally fucked. I didn't make shit for money this time, but I have the most kills. Even if the dude under me got both the last kills, he still wouldn't be ahead of me. <laughs> Lol, he's breaking through the door. See, look, I only wasted 40 bucks, or 40 pounds. Damn it. I'm gonna probably be doing that a lot. I apologize to your, to you, uh, European folk. Uh, 40 pounds. I don't know how much that is in dollars, but still. Why, well, he just threw money everywhere. I'll fucking loot it. Aw. <laughs> I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> Wait, didn't I? Do I have some extra? No. Uh, okay. I'm gonna take that and that. And that's it. <laughs> still with you. I'm trying to heal you. Nice. I'm gonna hop up on this thing just because I can. Uh, now it's kind of a free for all again. Like we're all just gonna kind of stick together till we figure out where the trader is. I guarantee it. And then whenever wherever the trader is, we're going to kind of congregate over to it. That's just the way it always seems to work. All right. Here we go. We're just gonna hold that here. This is a pretty common holding out spot on West London. All right, she's over in that back corner. I don't know where she is. I've never seen that arrow like that before. Huh? Who knows? All right, well, I'm just gonna get up here with this guy. Kill people. Hi. Thank you for coming to me. You sexy lady, you. I would do her any day of the week, man. She's that hot. I mean, with these, when these ghouls get grouped up, I just need to spray into them just because I hate these guys. I die more to those guys than anything else in this stupid game. Well, not this stupid game, but... It, out of all of the monsters they have, I die to that thing pretty much 90% of the time. Then the 8%, okay, 80% of the time, because 10% is flush pound, and then 10%, or 8% is, uh, Patriarch, and then, okay, wait. 80% those things, 10% Patriarch, 5% flush pound, 5% uh, scrape. It's usually how it works for me. These guys don't do shit. Like, seriously, if you get caught in between a bunch of them, you're fine. I'll say, Jesus, how the fuck are you gonna blow? Huh? Dirty. Did I get 
I kill? I better have, damn it. Oh no! He's gonna get close to me. Oh hell yeah, let me use this my van. Dude, everybody hates those things. Yeah, I ain't handle these guys. See? I gotta do those dudes just hurt too bad too much. Too much too fast. They just do too much damage. It's kinda ridiculous and OP. I always use my most hated gun first, and then when I need to, I will switch out the bullpup and spray and pray like a motherfucker. When I so feel like it, though. I, I like, I want to get used to this gun just because it does more damage, and I know it's better technically, but I just, has a smaller clip, and I'm just, I'm a big fan of more. <laughs> Which is why I love being a demo, because one bullet could kill like 18 million people. See, I can... Boom. I don't even have to buy any ammo now, pretty much. I guarantee it. I bet my ammo's fully stocked again. <laughs> it's in this part right here. Like, okay, wherever the last dude is. But, if I wanted to, I could be a sniper right now. And just kind of pick him out, headshot, and then we'd be on with our lives. I'll see you, dude. He's probably way back here. Oh, really? Nope. Okay. Alright, 1333. Let's see. Okay, oh, no, no. wrong Someone button. Oh, wrong button again. Alright, oh, no. I still need to buy more ammo for my AK. So I wasted almost 100 pounds. And that was uh, just there. Yep, we'll do. Anyone else need money? You need money. Oh, I hate giving out money. Josh, here, I'll time. give you some. There, that's all I'm giving. <laughs> I'm gonna be stingy bastard. Cause when it comes to people like him, he will usually die every Steve, single time and constantly need money. And I honestly, I I'm not gonna stand for it. I'm not gonna stand for him stealing everything that I've worked so hard to obtain. Not really hard, but you know, I've worked to obtain it nonetheless. All right, we're gonna roll this instant thing. Locking, boys. Three people, hell yeah, instant locking. With one person, I imagine that doesn't go as well. So are we gonna hold up in the tunnel again? Oh, where the hell are we going? Oh man, I don't like when people start running around. This is usually what happens. It's like uh, a lot of times when I join a lobby, there are two people that are there from the very beginning, and they will talk to each other in some form or way. I don't know how or through what, but they will communicate and they will have a plan and they will leave everybody else out of it and usually get everybody else killed. I hate pointing fingers and shit. That just always seems to... Man, fuck you, dude. I don't even know what that thing's called, to be honest. I just call it a ghoul. Because that's how I explained it to my little nephew. Like, what is that thing? I'm like, ah, it's a ghoul. You know, it has swords on its arms. So you should kill it immediately. Hi, stalker. Holy shit. Wow. Ha. <laughs> I killed myself. What the hell's with those lines? Well, somebody has. Well, see, that was a fluke, though. That was a fluke. That's why I saved my money. I now can buy my bullpup back, full ammo, and a combat vest, and still have, like, Two, three hundred pounds. Leftover. Apologize about the yawn. Uh, if you watched my update video recently, which I'm actually recording just after uploading that, it's about 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. Actually, I may need to go. Alright, let me do this real quick. Oh, he's dead. The reason why I'm asking that, if we don't fuck up and actually lose this quickly. What is with those? I really wish I knew. Alright dude, seriously? 
I can't believe... Wow. Don't you hate that feeling when it feels like you're carrying your whole team and as soon as you, you die, like, everybody else around you just seems to fucking fall apart? That's kind of what it feels like right now. It's like, I died super early on and now my team can't do a damn thing. Alright, kill the green guy. More on. Oh, well. Jesus. Well, that guy left. Actually, yeah, I guess I'm gonna use that as my, uh, as my red curtain falling. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this a play session, and thank you all for watching. See y'all next time. If you guys wanna see more Killing Floor, you know, tell me. See y'all next time.